Hello, Tatian. Thanks for submitting your first draft. Uh, let's go and have a look at your work. Uh, your title page seems neat, uh, beautiful. Literature review, mental health, and COVID-19. That's great, but if you could little bit make your title more specific, that would be wonderful. Try to make sure you write your uh, student number here, okay? And double check that the spacing is double and zero, zero. You copy paste it, wonderful. So we don't leave one line gap between your title and your introduction, so try to remove that. How about your introduction? Let's go and have a look. Uh, the first part, yes, is a good hook. In this sense, COVID-19, economy of the walls, the first isolation, scientists is called psychological, et cetera, et cetera, till here. Now, what is the problem with the, your introduction? You have background information, but the problem is there is no citation. You need to have at least one or two citations and show me that what you're talking is based on evidence and someone is supporting you. Okay, so try to put it in your um, background information. Now, another thing that I want you to talk about is your thesis statement. Thus, different approaches were analyzed, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Well, no. So try to write it explicitly. This literature review will refer to some common approaches for the analysis of mental health issues, such as A and B and follows or and, and refers to some common results such as this and this okay and one more thing about this a little bit short if i were you i would a little bit write more information in my background information let's go to your body number one again follow the apa style uh, indent the first line of your paragraph i mean all your body paragraphs plus the alignment should not be adjusted. It has to be a left aligned, okay? In this article by Islam, yeah. So the problem is that we don't use one article in our topic sentence. You need to have a very clear topic sentence. What are you going to talk about? For example, you wanna talk about approach number one, right? So you can say that the first common approach for uh, analyzing the mental health issues during the COVID-19 is collecting data from patients or running a survey. Okay, that can be another issue you can mention. And then after your topic sentence, you need to a little bit explain it. I don't want you to give me statistics. You need to explain your topic sentence for three, four, five lines and, and give me evidence. Be careful, your evidence must be related to the explanation and the topic sentence. Now, when you just write, 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 and at the end, write this incorrect index citation uh, is not correct, okay? So again, check my video on 10 most common APA mistakes, and this is a mistake, and solve it, okay? Uh, link to the mental, exactly. The, another issue that we don't have any index citation, for your evidence part, and there is no ending sentence or closing sentence at the end of your body paragraph. So please follow all these rules for all. I don't want you to just write, 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 and at the end, give me one source. You say, hey, teacher, uh, this is the source. Okay, does it mean that you got all this from this source? Uh, no, of course not, right? So that's not a good way. And you did the same thing. Okay, you don't get any mark for this. And also make sure that the same problem is happening here and this is not acceptable at all for your con for your conclusion this is a too long conclusion this cannot be a conclusion conclusion is almost like this size because you need to summarize your thesis summarize your body paragraphs and then have uh, a sentence of reflection or a okay, suggestion and it's a very good idea to have uh, an in-text citation for the last part of your conclusion. Then, okay, references, make sure to remove this part, follow the APA formatting properly. It seems fine because you're having four sources, they're all sorted alphabetically, and you're using the rules. So that's great. Uh, so the most important thing you need to do, improve your body paragraphs, put correct 
uh, in-text citations. I taught you many structures, verbs to cite better. Please use them properly. You can quote, summarize, and paraphrase. So use the common three methods of in-text citation. Good luck with your literature review. Try to submit it on time. Um, I mean, your first draft to check the amount of plagiarism. Good luck. Take care.